All right, let's do number 77 on the problem set. This is one of those ones that looks pretty crazy. But if you do it step by step, it's not so bad. Okay, I even ran out of paper. <laughs> All right, oxidation numbers. Chlorine, gonna be negative one. Sodium, positive one. Very nice. Oxygen, negative two. Hydrogen, plus one. Four times uh, negative two is negative eight. This is plus two, so this has to be what? T equals zero. This has to be plus six. Very good. Over here, negative two times two, negative four. This has to be plus four to cancel out to equal zero. Same thing over here, negative two times four, negative eight. Sodium, uh, plus one, plus two. And you know what these guys? Always the, the ones that are always constant are usually hydrogen, oxygen, um, the halogens, and then the ones in the middle change depending on who they're next to. So uh, always the more electronegative or least electronegative is one that bosses them around. And this is plus two, this is negative eight, so this has to equal to plus six. I didn't mean to underline those, I mean circle them. I like to circle just these guys, so let's just undo that. Old school style. Negative two. Each one is negative one, so this has to be plus two to cancel it. Same thing with water, negative two plus one, and then over here it's an element, so it's zero. Okay. Let's take a look at who's being oxidized and who's being reduced. All right, so uh, Na is the same. Uh, chlorine, it goes from negative one to zero. So that is losing electrons. That is undergoing oxidation. All right. Hydrogens, the same. Sulfur, plus six to plus six, that's the same. Oxygen, the same. Manganese, plus four to plus two, that is gaining electrons. All right. So let's just start there, and things will sort themselves out as we do it step by step. So I like to do the oxidation first. NaCl goes to Cl2. Remember, it's elements, oxygens, uh, everyone orders hotcakes. See, I have to do it in my head. <laughs> Hydrogens and then charge. Okay. Uh, the H plus, H2O, and then elements. I'm running out of room. Oh, well. Okay, so two Cl's here. Uh, let's do the Cl's. Two here. So the Cl's are balanced. Now we need the Na's on this side. What is the only thing that we have that has Na's? Well, we have this Na2SO4. That's all we can use. Remember when you balance chemical reactions, you can only use the whole molecule. I can't just add Na's, I have to add the whole thing. So, plus Na2SO4, and that's the two Na's. Then look at this punk. I end up with a SO4 molecule so I have to deal with the sulfate. Give me a thing over here. Look, it's all still together. H2SO4. So kind of like sometimes you add one thing, it makes the other one, it just makes it worse. But it's not so bad. See, I'm just being systematic about it. Two NAs, two NAs. Two CLs, two CLs. One of these SO4s, another SO4. The cool thing about the SO4s is they stay together. They don't do anything. They're just shuttling around. They're polyatomic ions. And then everything's good. And then we have H's and oxygens to deal with. Now oxygens with H2O. We've got four oxygens here, four oxygens here. That's good. Hydrogens, we have none here. Over here we have two. So we're going to have to add two H plus. Okay. All right, now let's do charge. Two H plus is going to give us a plus two charge. Over here it's zero. So in order to make this the same, we're going to have to add two electrons. And that balances everything. Okay, nice. So that's balanced. Now you could probably imagine the same weirdness is going to happen on the other side. And don't worry, the dust will clear if you're just systematic. So let's do reduction. MnO2 goes to MnCl2. Okay. Uh, elements, MnS are good. Now the chlorines. We well, need some chlorines. The only place to get chlorines is NaCl. 
And how many are we going to need? 2 NaCl. So now the chlorines are balanced. But now we have two NAs. What is the only thing on this side that has NAs? Look at that. Na2SO4. So the NAs are balanced. Now we have this annoying SO4. How do we get that? On this side, we have H2SO4. So it's just like the same thing we did. And that's balanced. Now we have these hydrogens and oxygens to deal with. All right. Now we've got four oxygens here. And we have two oxygens here, four oxygens plus two is six, so we're going to need two H2O. Now let's do hydrogens. This is a total of four H plus, four hydrogens. Over here there are two, so we're going to need uh, two more. So plus two hydrogen ions. Okay. Let's do the charge. Oops. <laughs> Over here that's zero. And over here, this is plus two, because this is the plus two of this. So in order to balance this out, we'll have to add plus two electrons, and that equals zero. Okay? Now to combine the reactions. Look at that. Two electrons in, two electrons out. Nice. We don't have to do any multiples. Let's just add everything together and see what we end up with. Okay? So HSO4. And look, there's another HSO4. So let's put those together. 2H2SO4. I forgot to say the two when I said it a second ago. NaCl, 2 NaCl and 2 NaCl. That's 4 NaCl. Okay. And then MnO2. Okay. And then 2 H plus ions. I'm just going to do them on top of each other. And then 2 electrons until the dust clears. All right, looks pretty good. Let's see, Cl2, any more Cl2s? Nope. Na2SO4s, looks like there's two of those. Good. Uh, H plus ions, nothing fancy there. Just like there's two of them, almost forgot. Uh, two electrons. Okay, looking good. Um, Mn, capital M, real. MnCl2, and we already accounted for that, and we need to account for the two H2Os, right? Okay, two H2Os, Na2SO4, two of them, uh, MnCl2, very good, Cl2, uh, two H plus, and two electrons, good. This side, two NaCl plus two NaCl is four, H2SO4 plus H2SO4 is two of those, uh, already accounted for, MnO2, H All right, looking good. Now let's see if we can cancel. Let's do red. Cancel in red. Two out, two in. Perfect. Hey, look at this. H pluses cancel. That's nice. And anything with the H2Os? Nope. H2SO4s? Nope. NaCl? Nope. Nope. All right. We have our final answer. And then we'll see if we are good. Plus two Na2SO4 plus MnCl2 plus two H2O. Very nice. Let's check. Well, the charge is zero on this side, the zero is this side. That's nice. So let's see. Two Cl's. 2 Cl's, 4, 4, 4 Na's, 4 Na's, uh, how many of these sulfates do we have? 2 of these, 2 of those, how many hydrogens we got here? 4 hydrogens, 4 hydrogens, and oxygens, 8 oxygens plus 2 is 10, um, 8 plus 2 is, hey! Yes! So there it is. See, everything, everything cleared up. Uh, you know, it's not so bad. And maybe if, if say if everything was like four, uh, eight, two, everything was multiplied by two, you can just divide until it has the lowest common denominator. If not, have a nice day. Don't worry about it. Eat your vegetables.